How's it going guys? Toxic Nerfer here. Today we are doing the top five um, blasters that jam a lot. And I mean like top five blasters that jam. And it's all an opinion, so don't blow a fit or anything. So this is going to be the first time I'm not going to be using Google right now. So coming in at number five, um, like it'd be hard to pick something on the list here, but I would pick number five would be the hyperfire because, well, the elite hyperfire. Because the problem with the elite hyperfire is that sometimes the conveyor belt doesn't pick up a dart right away since there are like rubber flaps. They attend the jam. I had like maybe a couple of jams, but it but it but it starts going back. You know that's why it's lower on this list because of that, um, due to the fact that it jams. But it doesn't jam that often. So, hey, that's that's number five. Coming in at number four is the Raider CS35. And no, we're not talking about the Elite Rampage because that thing doesn't jam that often. It doesn't even jam a lot. Hell, I hadn't even had a single jam with that thing when I first got it. But again, number four is the Raider CS35. That thing... Every time I slam fire that blaster, I get a single jam like, oh, how many times have I wrecked regular streamline darts? Like a lot. I keep like slam firing this thing. I get it stuck. So I have to push it back and open that access door. I see a jam, take the drum out, fix that jam, put it back in and just fire it again. That one's pretty low on the list too, because that thing doesn't jam a lot. But it jams more than the Hyperfire does because uh, it only uses a pl plunger system. It doesn't use a, a conveyor belt. So, yeah, that thing's low on the list, too. So, number three. I mean, for number three, it's going to be a hard one. But I have to pick either one in the future, so I have to pick between either the Recon or the Retaliator for this list. I used to have a Recon, a Sonic series version. I remember that that thing jammed me up quite a few times. Not a lot, but quite a few. So did the Retaliator. Now, those things are low on the list too due to that jamming issue. It doesn't jam that much, which actually surprised me because most other blasters I've touched jams so and the honorable mentions will be in the description box just to let you know number two the long shot CS6 all the long shot repaints because it's the exact same weapon that thing every time jams on me like a, I tried to be I'm trying to be as calm as I can here with this one, but the long shot just jams a ton. The bolt don't want to go prime back. The, the darts sometimes don't want to fire. It has a hard time chambering those streamlines. It's like that. It jams a ton. That's why fixing my long shot video, I took out that lock for the bolt. So I'd rather put that back in and grease it up, because that's the only thing I'd rather do. Hey, thanks to Lord Draconical for his long shot mods for helping me out with that one. But it's time for the big one. So here comes number one. And coming in at number one on the list of the top five blasters that literally jam, it's the Doomlands Double Dealer. What can I say? This thing jams a ton. And it's not the mag's fault or anything like that. They work fine in other blasters. But it's the actual design of the blaster itself. I think they just couldn't fix the problems with this blaster and like, screw it, let's just put all the prototypes and just bring it into the market. This blaster jams a ton. I have no complaints with the grip or the... Uh, the trigger itself anything and when the blaster actually performs fine out of the box the magazine um holders 
the magazine storage actually works fine. I mean, there may be a little bit of wiggle, but it's fine. Um, nothing against the, uh, the actual part of the blaster. It's just that it jams a ton. Every time you pull this back, it's either, it's either like, like all darts just come out and then they're just going to flop or they're just going to fire as far as we can and actually get the performance we like. Or one's just going to shot out and then you're going to jam the whole blaster up. Like literally this thing jams a ton. Now I'm literally going to shoot at the panda because I don't even care. Like two already shot out. Now it gets stuck. And also the jam door like just keeps popping up and down. Like at least the log shot has a lock where like the door stays put. Hell, the sling fire has a better jam door than this. This thing keeps popping up for no reason. Let's see if this jams up. Two. 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 Now for the slam fire. Well, it didn't jam on me now, but it totally would jam on even a suction cup dart. This thing jams a ton, and I think it's got to be the plunger itself and the dart suits. Because the dart suits and the plunger, which I don't think I can ever, ever show you on camera because it's pretty hard, but you could see the sled in there. I'm going to put that close up. You could see the sled in there, and when I pull this down, that's where it's priming the darts. It's pushing the darts up with these dart suits, and these dart suits put, put the darts and actually push them inside the barrel. The big, my big gripe about it is, is that it doesn't work as quite as well. I put the long shot at number like two because it's old. So this is like, what date? Like it should say it, the copyright should say it. Um, shit. It doesn't say the date, but this is a new blaster on 2017 for crying out loud 2015 whatever it's like a couple of years old like two for crying out loud This should be the new powerhouse in nerf Sure the stock ain't that good and it doesn't have a very good length for other people to enjoy But you got two rails you got double capacity that you could put on this thing no matter how bulky it is You've got storage for magazines. You have an aggressive looking blaster. You got two double barrels which shoot a, like a shotgun style that should be better than the Barrel Break IX2. I've used the Barrel Break. It's not that good, but at least it fires. It doesn't even jam. This thing is like, this thing's like, oh, I shot one. Oh man, I gotta reload during the war. Like, really? 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 At least the hyperfire clears out the jam like in a snap because it has a conveyor belt. I think conveyor belts are better. My god, that is so annoying. This double dealer is goddamn annoying. And I better yet, just I'd rather just buy like a Chaos, a Rampage. I'd rather buy an Elite Alpha Trooper. I'd rather buy the Judge because even the Sledge Flyer. Hell, I know, a lot of people don't like the shells. I've seen nervous do that. Coop 772, hell, large conical. But this thing, you can't get this. I'm sorry for my review that I say totally get this because it didn't even jam on me quite yet. But now that it did, it did. And I really should, like, forgive myself for saying that. Literally. The dark suits are not good. I think these dart tooths are not pushing the darts further inside the air restrictors. And, and it just jams like, ugh. Ugh. It should be better. You shouldn't have put better dart tooths in these things. The long shot's old style dart tooth, at least even though it kind of like jams a little bit and sometimes won't push the bolt back, but at least it still fires. This thing I have to, ugh. Like I say, this thing jams a ton. I've said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. Don't buy this thing. I will gladly put this a well-deserved rear end. 
if I would count it as a worse shotgun, I don't know how far I'll put it on the list. So, that's it. I'm done. So before I go, I, I already got to count of the votes for what blaster I should take, you know, for like, like, like what's, you know, like on the Snick is back thing on my vlogging channel. So the winner is the Alien Menace. So I'll be getting the Alien Menace Voidcaster. So, yeah, that's it. Well, thank you all so much. Oh my God. Well, with that being said, we are gonna have a lot of bad Nerf Blasters, but we also have some good ones. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, and if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe, and as always, stay scary, and I'll see you next time.